When I stepped out of the movie house, I only had two things on my mind. Paul Newman and a ride home. I was wishing I looked like Paul Newman. I was also wishing I had some company. Greasers like me can't walk home. Because we'll get jumped by socials. Socials is short for socials. The rich kids who live in the, on the south side. Do you need a haircut, Greaser? Daryl! Set him up. Soda! Are you alright, point oh, okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Take a little on you, game, dude. Yeah. You don't ever think! <laughs> You had to walk by yourself. You should have carried a blade. Yeah, then the show just would come to ribbons. Now, will my kid brother tell me what to do with my other kid brother? I'll ask him, kid brother. So, why is he like that all the time? Well, because his dad's got a lot more to worry about than a guy his age should. By your lonesome. What are you doing at jail? I thought you were in for 90 days. Got off early for good behavior. How's it going, Johnny? It would go a lot better if the folks had stayed in their part of town. Town? We got had it out sooner or later. No. I'm going to get the guy who beat you up. Good. That was the night Dallas gets Pony Boy and Johnny to sneak into a drive in movie with him. They walk by two Soch girls arguing with two Soch boys. Then they sit in the second row of seats near the refreshment stand. The two Soch girls, Cherry and Marsha, appear and sit in front of them. Dallas puts his feet up on Cherry's chair and makes rude remarks. Get your feet off my chair and shut up. Who's going to make me? <laughs> you better leave us alone or I'll call the cops. Oh, you've got me scared to death. Why don't you leave us alone? I'm never nice. You want a coat? Get lost, Hood. Are you st going to start on us? No. You don't look the type. What's your name? Pony Boy first. My name is Shirley, but I'm called Cherry because of my red hair. Cherry Bounds. What? Why is a new kid like you hanging around with trash like that, Hood? I'm a grief slate dad. I'll be my buddy. I'm sorry. Hurry, Brent. This might cool you off. That might cool you off. Yeah, leave her alone, Dally. Huh? You heard me. Thanks. Can't be scared to death. You didn't show it. Nobody talks to her like that. From what I saw, you do. Why don't you guys sit beside us? You can protect us. How come you aren't scared of us? You look too sweet to scare anyone. Sure, we're young and innocent. No, you seem too much to be innocent. But why don't you talk dirty? Is Johnny okay? He's not dangerously deadly. If, <laughs> if that's what you mean. He's been hurt badly, hasn't he? Yeah, he's kind of a nervous wreck from getting belted at home. Uh, like four months ago, he really got beaten up when he socially jumped him. <laughs> One of them was wearing two big rings. Johnny was, uh, since then, Johnny been carrying a switchblade. Not, not all of us are like that. Sure. That's like saying all of you are creatures like Dallas. I bet you think so just have it. Hey, well, I'll tell you something. Things are rough all over. Yeah. Cut. You read a lot, don't you, Pony Boy? Yeah. Why do you want... Do you watch some sets? I used to watch them before I got so busy. Look what's coming. What are you going to do? Stand here. There isn't much time. I'll speak to you. Who is it, the FBI? No. Bobby Randy. Cherry, just because we get out there a little drunk. You know I would. You know that I wasn't going to go out with you while you're drunk drinking. Well, so you can't do that. That's no reason to be able to hang around and take bumps. Bumps? Oh, yeah. Stop it, Bob. We'll, we'll ride home with you. I can't stand fights. I could never cut him. I know. Look, if I 
see you in school and I don't say hi. It's really personal. I know, I just don't forget sometimes yet. Some of us watch Sunset too. I could fall in love with Dallas. I hope I never see him again, or I will. Cut. Okay. When Dura yells at you, he doesn't mean anything. He loves you, understand? Sure. So do why did you drop out of school? Because I'm dumb. You're not dumb. I'll tell you something, but don't tell Dare. I think I'm going to marry Sandy, but I'll wait until we get out of school so I can help Dare and pay the bills. Wait till I get out of here. I'll see if you can get Dare off me. Fine. The rumble is a rumble without me. Shoot, it's unloaded. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> when I stepped out of the movie house, I had only two things on my mind. Paul Newman and a ride home.